Hello there, everybody. Welcome back into today, the Arkansas Razorbacks. We were unranked when we played Oregon. They were ranked number 25. They lost to us big game by Darren McFadden. Darren McFadden came back versus USC, who's ranked number one. We were ranked number 25, and he also had a big day. But Lindo White had a bigger day, and USC did what USC does when college football games today our opponent is going to be vanderbilt the commodores they lost to mid tennessee state lost to kent state they might get kicked out of the sec they keep on playing like this ryan martin is a starting quarterback last year was jay keller so far this season 29 of 47 363 yards two touchdowns for the starting quarterback his favorite target is matthew thomas had five touchdowns last season already has one this season 12 catches for a buck 48 so far this calendar year dante hall is their best inside linebacker first team all sec he can lay the lumber robert johnson needs to protect the football as of right now three touchdowns four interceptions not the ratio that you want this could be a great chance for him to turn things around versus a team that we should should handle easily. Darren McFadden up over 100 yards in both contests so far. We're trying to get him over that 1,000-yard mark for the first time in his career. And, of course, get my man to be a Heisman finalist. We're ranked number 27 in the country. Vanderbilt's ranked number 90 in the country. Again, this should be a game that we handle easily. It's ugly out there, but we want our passing game to still be efficient. Next week, we're going to be taking on Alabama. It will be a revenge game for us, but we cannot look ahead to that contest. We got to stay focused here and take care of the Commodore. Cedric Washington from inside his own one-yard line receives opening kickoff and gets dragged down at the 20. First down, 10 yards ago, eye formation. Robert Johnson hands off to Darren McFadden. Darren McFadden gets upfield. And then he gets dragged down after the gain of six. From the 26 yard line, get the ball to McFadden again. Big time block by Peyton Hillis, still on his feet. And finally dragged down at the 41. Give it to the big fullback. Peyton Hillis loves to eat. He gets the carry right there for a gain of five. And now it's going to be second down and five from the 46 yard line. Eye formation. Johnson going to roll left. Throws that thing to Baker, who bobbled it, but caught it in the end. And that is all that matters. Make the big catch, big fella. And that's exactly what he done did. So from the 30 yard line, first down and 10, going back to Baker. He hauls it in yet again. And we got a gain of nine, make it eight. Second down and two from the 22. Give it to Darren McFadden. And McFadden made a roadblock. And down he goes. And now Johnson's going to drop back the pass. Throws it, and that pass will be broken up. So we got to send out Dawson for the 38-yard field goal attempt. And the kick is up, and the kick is no good. The snap looked good. The hold looked good. The kick was not good. And it's first down and 10 from the 21-yard line. Martin fires to the right side. Caught by Antonio Smith, who gets out of a tackle. And then Dale Kirkpatrick. Our freshman inside linebacker there for the tackle. First down, 10 yards to go from the 44-yard line. Looking downfield, Smith hauls it in again. And Kirkpatrick is there for the stop again. And it's going to be another first down for the Commodores. Again, go up the gut. There goes David Garcia. And David Garcia is going to work his way upfield for a gain of five. He's averaging 134 yards per contest in his first two games of the season. As Martin's going to carry the football. For a nice game right there in the first down for the Commodores. From the 25-yard line, Garcia, nice spin move. Then shows off the power. And he's going to work his way upfield for another gain of five from the 20-yard line. Now second down of five. Big hit. Put on the quarterback. And Cortez McIntosh is there to bat it away. We got true freshmen all over this defense, but they can flat out ball. The ball is loose. And Kirkpatrick recovers it. Jamal Anderson with the sack. And then Dale Kirkpatrick is off to the races. And they're not going to catch big number 48. Touchdown by this Arkansas defense. And that's exactly what the doctor ordered. After he missed the field goal, maybe the Commodores had some momentum. And you definitely want to take that momentum back from him like a bully going to take your lunch money. Does that still happen? I bet it does. Garcia gets up to the 19-yard line and no further. They fake the ball to Garcia, and Jamal Anderson is there again. His second sack in as many defensive plays. Second down, 16 yards to go. They fire it, and Jones coming across the middle with a beautiful diving catch there. Third down and one. They're going to run the ball with Thomas, and Matthew Thomas on the end of the round gets loose for a first down for the Commodores. First and 10 up from the 48-yard line. Out formation. They're going to drop back the pass. They throw it to the flat in and out of the hands 
of the big fullback Barnes. They're going to run the ball with Garcia. And David Garcia gets tracked down. And now it's going to be third down and eight from the 50-yard line. Play fake and Sam Jolly. Freshman strong safety gets in there for the sack. He did not bite on that play fake at all. We're going to take a 7-0 lead to the second quarter. So on the pump, we got Baker back there. The kick is on its way. It sure fall close to the 10 yard line. He receives it from the 12. Makes a man miss at the 25, and he is loose. The man can run, and he's running to daylight. 20, 10, 5. Give him six. House call. Punt return to the crib, and it has been all special teams and defense so far today. Our offense did move the ball fairly easily, but since that moment in time after we missed that field goal, as David Garcia is shaking up. We have been relying on our defense and special teams. Hopefully our offense can wake up before this one is over. Antonio Smith makes another catch, but Michael Coe is there to say no, no, no. Not too many times we're going to see a cornerback hit somebody that hard, but you just saw it. That's a Kodak moment. Quick pass over the middle, caught by Baker. And you know that when meeting that, though, the bakery is always open. First down and 10. Johnson going to roll left. He can keep it if he wants to, and he does. Robert Johnson has a first down in his back pocket, 37 rushing yards so far today. Matter of fact, he was down nine yards, not 10. So with second down in inches, McFadden takes it to the crib. He's like, big fella, I'll do the rest. And the offense is finally on the board. So we got a touchdown by our defense, one by our special teams, and now our offense gets into the scoring act. So Thomas gets this one up to the 28-yard line. Garcia back in the ball game, and Garcia goes nowhere. Harrison is there for the stop. Big number 55 as a handful on this D-line. Dale Kirkpatrick gets up in there for the stop. And that was third down and eight. Single back look. Four-man rush coming at Martin. The pocket was clean. The pass was good. The catch was good. The tackle was good, but we grabbed the face mask. So instead of getting off of, off of the field on third down, it's going to be an automatic first down. They give it to Barnes, number 44, straight full back in it for a gain of four. They're going to run the ball. Garcia and Garcia got absolutely tattooed. Dale Kirkpatrick going to be on that all-American freshman team. I guarantee it. The boy is an absolute monster out there. First down and 10. We're going to fire this one to the flat. Caught by McFadden. Makes a man miss. Makes another guy miss. But then he forgot to hang on to the football. And there goes Dante Hall. First team all SEC forces that fumble. And now the Commodores have it inside the red zone. They fire it. That pass will be broken up. And now they're going to be looking at second down and 10. Martin from under the center looking downfield. And that pass by Martin is in and had out of the hands of Matthew Thomas. That would have been the first points of the ball game. Third down and 10 for the 19. Martin looking downfield. Throws it over the middle. Broken up by Sam Jolly. And they're going to have to settle for a field goal. And now it's 21-3 as we take over from our own 20-yard line. Johnson looking downfield. That pass caught by Marcus Monk. And Eminem has a gain of three. Second down and seven for the 23. Y'all looking for Marcus Monk again. This time he's going to pick up around five yards, but we're still shy. So third down and two. Now I got to pick this one up before the half is up and before this drive is up. And Johnson's going to keep it. You're not going to put a spy on him. He's going to tuck it and run it. Why not get the quarterback's feet involved? From the 36 yard line. Give it to Peyton Hillis trying to surprise this defense. And we do. They did not expect us to give it to the fullback. And we pick up a first down there. Under a minute to go in the first half. Robert Johnson looking downfield for Winston and a big tight end. Can't hang on to that one. His hands must be beat up from doing all that blocking. Johnson looking downfield for McFadden who hauls it in. Going to get stopped well shy of the first down. Third down and six. Under 40 seconds to go here. Johnson rolls left. Throws it over the middle. Caught by Cedric Washington. Move those chains. And Arkansas is going to burn their first time out. 32 seconds on the clock. We fake the run. Looking downfield is Johnson. Still looking. He could keep it if he wants to. He wants to. Gets out of bounds to stop the clock with 25 seconds left. Second down and four. Big time blocked by the right tackle. Johnson's going to get loose. Going to dive down. And we're inside the 15 with another first down. We have one timeout left. Looking downfield is Johnson. Throws it in traffic. And good thing that thing was just broken up and not intercepted. Second down and 10 over the middle. That pass dropped by Baker. Been playing so good today. Could have had himself a touchdown there. Third down and 10. Johnson going to roll right. 
Still rolling, buying as much time as he can. Throws it on the run, caught by Marcus Monk on his knees. The crowd can't believe it. And Arkansas is up 28-3 before the half is up. So we're going to send this one deep to David Garcia. He's going to get out of one tackle in the way that we are playing right now. We might have to put the backups in early. They're going to run the ball with Garcia. Garcia goes nowhere fast. Harrison with another stop in the backfield. Second down and 12. Garcia gets the carry. Able to get out of one tackle. But then that D-line with the linebacker court gets another stop. The front seven absolutely cooking. They try to run the ball. They block very well. Everybody on the D-line, but they forgot the linebacker court. And we're there for the stop. We run the ball in McFadden. He's also going backwards just like David Garcia was on the last drive for the Commodores. Johnson going to roll left. Looking downfield. And that pass going to be caught by Templeton. And now it's going to be third down and seven from the 37. Johnson going to roll right, sets his feet, throws it deep, caught by Cedric Washington. First down, Arkansas Razorbacks, and we worked our way up from their 37, or from our 37 to their 37. And now we go backwards once, from the 38-yard line, second down and 11. Give it to Darren McFadden, able to follow his blocks for a decent game. Setting up third down and around five. We're four for five. Can we extend it to make a five for a six? Yes, we can. Can is as easy as Sunday morning. First down and 10. From the 26 yard line. Johnson looking down. Feel that pass. Going to be caught by Baker. He gets another one. One on the punt return. Another one receiving here. Robert Johnson has two touchdown passes. But more importantly, no interceptions today. This is the type of clean performance that we want before we really get into the thick of SEC play. Third down and eight. Martin throws this one. That pass broken up by Cortez McIntosh. Had a pick last week while rocket number 26. He's playing all kinds of shutdown corner. Rocket number 13 right there. So second down and 11 now. Toss play now to Schmidt and the true freshman. Number one halfback in the nation coming out of high school goes backwards. Third down and 16. Johnson going to roll left. Still rolling. Now he's going to keep it. And he's going to have a first down by the hairs of his chinny, chin, chin. Nice run right there. His decision making today has been excellent to say the least. McFadden to the right side. He's going to work his way upfield. Looked to be a late hit, but no home. I mean, a lot of home cooking for the Commodores. That's a flag that we're playing in Arkansas. Hillis to the right side. And the big fullback going to work his way upfield for a decent gain as we head to that fourth quarter. So second down and inches now from the 14. McFadden meets a roadblock, and he's not going to have the first down. So fourth and third and inches, excuse me, getting ahead of myself. Johnson going to roll out, going to throw it in that pass. We'll fall incomplete. So clearly I was prophesizing. Clearly I'm a prophet. I knew it was going to be fourth and inches, and we got to sit up for a field goal. And the kick by Dawson is actually good this time. So good job by our special teams unit coming through with the field goal. And look at our defense. Still out there playing shutdown defense. Martin under pressure. That pass falls to the grass. Ryan Martin, just five completions today. Nothing to be proud about in this game for the Commodores. Going to fire this one deep. And Michael Coe is there to say, no, do not throw the ball my way. Do not test special agent 19. Butler, he gets his first carry of the ball game. And that's going to result in a first down. First down and 10. Give it to Butler again. Loose. Has a first down. Has a lot more than that. Gets brought down after a 20-yard pickup. He didn't get touched until he got the 20-yard pickup. Hillis to the right side. And Hillis, he's going to work his way upfield for a gain of nine. Second down and one. Going to run the option. Couldn't get the pitch off in time. And Johnny is there on the stop. Third down and four. Johnson looking downfield. Going to fire it deep. Marcus Monk. Touchdown reception number two for him. Three touchdown passes for Robert Johnson. And this is the kind of game that you want. 45-3 to three is the score. They're going to run the ball with Carlton. And that's going to result in a gain of two. Second down and eight. Rhodes in the ball game. And Marcus Rhodes' pass going to be caught. But nowhere near the first down. Marcus Sam Jolly records tackle number four. Third down and five. The pass rush getting closer and closer. But not close enough as Brian Hampton. He hauls it in for a first down, and the Commodores are putting on a little bit of a show here with under two minutes to go. They're going to run the ball again, breaking tackles as Carlton, and that's going to result in a Vanderbilt first down. First down and 10 from the 36-yard line, making the audible is Marcus Rhodes. He audible to a play fake. 
Rhodes has it, throws it, and that pass is in and out of the hands of his intended receiver. Second down now, minute 09 on the clock. Four-man rush not going to get there. The pass to Antonio Smith is a perfect one, and they're up inside the 20 just barely and now they're going to be on the other side of the 20 just like that second down and 12 from the 22 yard line we send a blitz send up a roadblock and fred blitzo is there for the sack third down to 13 Rhodes has it rolls right throws it left and that pass will hit the grass fourth and 13 with 13 seconds on the clock from the 23-yard line, last chance to do something for the Commodores. They're going to fire this one deep in double coverage. And Cortez McIntosh is there for the bat down. And that is going to do it for this one. 45-3 to three is the final. And like I said, this is the kind of game that you want if you are an Arkansas Razorback fan. You're on the road. It's kind of ugly outside. Put the game away early. That's exactly what we did so not a great performance by our rushing attack as individuals but as a collective unit it was pretty spectacular robert johnson was able to do his thuggers of fizzles through the air and on the ground Darren mcfadden he is who he is just didn't get a whole bunch of touches today chris baker who did get hurt later on in the game he's gonna be fine for next week's contest versus alabama as we move to two and one and maybe just maybe we'll be ranked in the top 25 for vanderbilt they fall to zero and three they have a bye week after that they're gonna be taking on f I you this defense though gets the game ball absolutely stellar performance by them only yielding three points and that was due to a fumble by McFadden that gave the Commodores great field position well I'm gonna get about here you guys hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day and tell me again my friends peace love hot sauce